yeah, we want we want the players to understand what it means to play for Bristol, um, and so it's vitally important that, that the guys in the age group teams understand some of the values and the behaviours that are expected of them. Um, and it's important that the senior academy players represent those values, uh, not only out on the pitch, but when they're in and around the city as well, because they are representing the club at all times. Um, yeah, you know, the, the purpose of the club and the purpose of the academy is to unite and inspire the city, and that's vitally important um, that the senior academy and the first team understand that, but at the same time, the junior academy lads coming through start to understand how important a role the rugby club plays in, in the city and the local area. The goal now is to produce players that are able to play in the Premiership and at the top end of European competition. Um, in 2011, we were probably in a slightly different space and we were looking for players to come through there and then that were able to play in the Championship. Now we're looking at producing players that are going to be competing at the very top end of the game. And if Andy can go out and recruit the very best players from across the world, the local Bristol guys have got to be good enough to compete with those guys. So yeah, the, the challenge is huge. The lucky few will get to run out and play at Ashton Gate, but that's certainly not um, certainly not going to be a, a large number of them. And we understand that, and we explain that to the parents and to the players that it's only going to be a small number that actually make it into the professional game. But we want those guys to stay connected to Bristol Rugby for their whole lives and we see that as a really important part of the purpose of the academy and, and the club as a whole. The new arrivals who come in have got to understand the history and tradition of the club, they've got to buy into the values and, and those new guys will be the future of the club. Yeah, it's, a bit, it's a bit strange living away but so obviously I've really enjoyed getting away actually this time and it's nice to have my own space and do what we want and cook and that, which is not my, not my strongest point, but um, I feel the boys are a bit messy, but I can deal with that just about. But no, I've really enjoyed moving away. Obviously there's a set schedule here now, so we've got to be prepared, we haven't had before. We've got to be here on time, we've got to wear the right kit. And if you don't do that, you won't, you won't come into the session, so it's definitely more full on. And then when I get home, I've got to cook the right food, I can't just eat what I want. I've got a set diet that I'm sticking to, so it's a lot more pressure on myself, but I'm really enjoying it because it puts discipline on me, which is good for myself. Weird environment coming in from watching, watching um, Gav and Tusi as a youngster, now coming in and training with them, it's obviously a good experience and they bring out the best in me and they help my game, playing alongside, playing alongside them outside me, it's obviously a great experience. So. As an academy group and myself, I think we're all just pushing to get into the tier first team. We'll see if we do get a chance, we've got to take it, but it's a learning curve for us all and hopefully if we do get a shot, we'll be ready to take it. Uh, when I play for Bristol, I feel like I'm representing like a small part of Bristol where, where my community and where I came from was a pretty humble background and if I can make them proud, it makes me happy just as much as I'm making anyone else happy. So yeah, the, the fans will love you no matter what. If you have a bad game, you're brilliant <laughs> and uh, if you are in it, come out onto the field, you always hear your name, you you can't, you can't do nothing wrong, I find. It always breeds confidence and you feel like you can go on the pitch and you're invincible and that helps a lot. And there's a, definitely a, a close connection between us Bristol lads and uh, if we're even like in training and coaching games at the moment, we're always looking at a team, are we with, are we with each other? If we're all forwards, but if it's, a, if it's touch, we'll, we'll back ourselves because we're together, <laughs> even for against all the backs. It's, yeah, it's definitely a connection and uh, we'll get a buzz if we're in the same team sheet together. You're right, and you do get some tough times where you've, you have to be very patient, and it's easy to say to be patient. Once you get a taste of it, it's, it's very hard. And I say your first couple of years, you don't say much. You just get your head down, crack on and work hard and you get very few chances, but I think it's very important you keep showing the potential you've got and there's very few chances you get. I think it's important that you create friendships with everyone, so no matter if they're 18 or 32, no matter how old you are, I think we all need to be on the same page on the training field. I pay for my family, my teammates and the people of where I'm from. That's what, I, that's what gets me through the tough moments in games. <laughs>